Hi everyone, it's Nick from Printerbase and this is Brother's brand new Pocketjet PJ673 which we're going to compare against the existing PJ663. This latest edition brings a total number of Pocketjet variations to five. As you move between the different models you get a difference in print quality and connectivity options. All the five models are identical in size except for this small additional nodule found on the 673. This add-on houses the electronics to give it Wi-Fi capability which none of the others have. As with all the machines this also has USB connectivity but is the only one not to have infrared which to be honest is rarely used nowadays anyway. The only other thing to note about the 673 is that it has the top resolution available at 300 by 300 dpi. Now as well as the 673 I also wanted to show you the 663 which also has the top resolution but has Bluetooth and infrared instead of Wi-Fi. Now to use Wi-Fi on the PJ673 it must be connected up in what they call ad hoc mode. It can't be networked into your wireless infrastructure so your laptop, phone or tablet will need to be disconnected from your Wi-Fi network in order to be directly connected to this machine via Wi-Fi. When you're out and about away from the office this may not be an issue unless you want to connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot while printing. So users working from an Android or Windows phone, laptop or tablet with Bluetooth capability may prefer the PJ663 because it won't interfere with your Wi-Fi connection. It's also worth noting that Bluetooth uses much less power than Wi-Fi. The PJ673 is therefore primarily targeted for iPad, iPhone or iPod touch devices where Apple does not allow connectivity via Bluetooth. Now the PJ673 does not support Apple AirPrint so you'll need to install either Brother's imaginatively named PJ673 print app or one of the third party apps available via the Apple App Store onto your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch. It's simple enough to do and once installed it's easy to print wirelessly to the Brother PJ673 from your Apple device. I'm going to show you this now. OK, we're going to print to the PJ673 from an Apple device. This is an iPad mini and the first thing we need to do is connect to the Wi-Fi that this PJ673 is broadcasting so it's connected at the moment to the office network so I'm just going to disconnect and connect to the PJ673 and once that happens this blinking blue light goes solid like it is now which means it is connected. Right then we need to put some of Brother's thermal paper into the printer. Smooth side goes face down And then we can run one of the apps which I have already installed onto the iPad. I'm going to use the app called Mobile Print. This isn't Brother's official app, but I like it because it has actually got some PDF examples within the app. So I'm just going to print this confidential sample and pretty straightforward, just press print and in a few seconds it will come out on the pocket jet. So it was very, very easy to install the app, but if you do get stuck, obviously you can get in touch with Printerbase. So it's saying that it's receiving data. And any moment now, there we go. And there we go. Obviously not, not super quick but certainly fast enough for the odd sheet that you want to print while you're out and about. And this is a lot easier to carry around than a laser printer is. So we're going to now print to the PJ663. So I'm just going to unplug the AC adapter and plug it into this one. And turn it on, there we go. 
Now, this one's got Bluetooth, so from an Android smartphone, just as an example, you can print to it pretty easily. So, let's get some more paper. Smooth side again, face down. Pop it in. And this time, I'm using Brother's iPrint and Scan app, which works for Android, but doesn't work on the iPad, but Brother have got a different app for the iPad, as I mentioned. So I've got a PDF here, and I'm just going to make sure that we've connected, yes we have, to the device on Bluetooth. So I'm just gonna press print. Again, just as easy to use as the iPad. So they have tried to make sure that this can't go wrong really when you're out as a customers you're not going to be there for half an hour trying to get this to work because it seems to work every time so far and there we go if you had accidentally put the paper in the wrong way up it would have printed a blank sheet but it's not wasted you just put it back in and print again so you really can't go wrong with this but if you do need any help then get in touch with us our phone number is 0800 170 7234 and the website is www.printerbase.co.uk I'm Nick and thanks for watching